everybody, this is Breck's second day birthday. So he is over 48 hours old and we're going to feed him again because it's feeding time. So I am still having problems with getting him latching, but I am pumping milk, so we're getting it in him. So what we did today so far, uh, let's see. What we did today so far, I slept quite a bit. Michael helped me um, take care of Brick. So I would, he would come and wake me up and I would get, try to get him to latch or I would pump, feed him. So I would be sleeping on and off, back and forth. Michael did get some sleep as well. And then today he's in his cute new stroller that his grandpa Darby got him and his Lola Lolita got him as well. And we went on a teeny tiny walk. We live across the street from a school. So we went on a teeny tiny walk and um, I was able to make it, <laughs> so which is good. I'm also taking <clears throat> some medication, of course, because he kind of tore me up when I delivered him, which is helping out a lot. So yeah, I've been walking a lot, which is good. I thought it was pretty good after giving birth two days ago, walking and doing things for him. And <clears throat> sorry. And uh, as far as Brick goes, being the dad, if you know what I'm saying, uh, we did Japanese today. Uh, we studied some Japanese. We studied our scales. We had a band practice. Um, he slept through band practice, but I did not take it personal. Um, if this continues, though, uh, we will have to sit down and have a one on one. Uh, but yeah, so Japanese, uh, I still got to do Spanish. Um, but we're just, so this is how it works, just so you guys know. When a baby is born, they code for, um, oh geez, now I'm gonna forget what it's called, uh, phenotypes, that's what it is, yeah, I believe it's phenotypes. So they code for every single phenotype on the face of the earth. So when a baby's born, they can actually learn anything. They're like, um, they're like a Superman brain, and they can learn anything that's out there. Now, for a long period of time, people thought that um, pruning and atrophy, um, you know, started maybe, you know, three, four months in. But further research uh, has demonstrated that atrophy actually happens in the first week. So pruning, they'll start to get rid of certain uh, dendrites and neurons, and, uh, and they'll just think, well, I'm not going to use that, so I don't need it. And that would include, you know, uh, things like Japanese, you know, saying words like konnichiwa, or haje um, mamashite, dozu roshiku onage ishimasu, kore wa no tumishi. I obviously, I probably don't sound that Japanese, but I do speak a little Japan, and um, I would like my son to speak it well too, so I'm kind of um, brushing up and getting my uh, Japanese down as we do this together. But you, you know, uh, Japanese is very, um, very abrupt, uh, harsh sounds you know, konnichiwa, um, and then English is very round. So they're, they're different, um, the brain cells, they code differently. So we're trying to expose him to Spanish, Japanese, um, English of course, and then uh, musical scales. Um, another study came out that said the classical music is not actually as good as people think, that whole Beethoven baby thing. Um, it, I really believe it's just too complex for them. Um, is uh, there's just all the different instruments and the different pitches and um, harmonies and things of that nature. Um, it's just too much. But if you do scales, and this is a little experimental, this is just me doing my thing. I play scales for him um, periodically. Uh, try to get at least two hours of scales a day where he's just hearing the scales and the different keys just to help him with his pitch control. So we'll see how that pans out. That's just me being a, a dad doing my best. There's no real research that, that this is going to work, but I'm feeling good about it. But it's, it's only two days in, so <laughs> we'll see. We'll see what happens. Anyway, um, Ashley, what else do you want to tell all our friends about uh, what we did today? Um, I fed him today, and we changed his diaper. And the funny thing is, as soon as I put a new one on, he went number two again. So we had to change it again. Um, cleaned them up a bit, you know, when they're brand new, just give them a little sponge bath and uh, put on a different outfit. And then he also is in love with soft blankets. 
I've noticed. So that's why you see like a white soft blanket in the background or we have a lot of them, which is cool because I love them too. So anytime I put him on a soft blanket, it totally relaxes him so fast, which is really cool. He's a really good baby. So excited to have him home. Another thing is, is uh, we decided to do a vlog. We haven't really officially announced that yet, but we decided to do one with Brick to kind of document our journey. And it, the editing process is hilarious. I mean, when you're doing a, vl a vlog, you're not really editing that much. But when I do edit, you know, he hears his mom's voice. So if she's sleeping, trying to catch up, and I'm watching him, I have, oh, by the way, my secret weapon is a Mamaru. Um, I think the actual name of it is like Four Moms or something like that, but it's like a rocking chair on steroids. It's really cool. It has all these different rhythms. And um, so basically what I do is I have uh, the, the pre-breast milk. She pumps some for me. And then I have the Mamaru, which uh, rocks him in all these cool patterns. And then uh, while he's doing that, uh, well, he, he basically just falls asleep. And then I start editing in my studio. And, uh, and he hears his mom's voice. So it seems like it really calms him down because I keep editing, you know, and kind of lining parts up. And, and then, you know, it's, it's almost like he, I mean, he's not missing her because he's kind of being validated through with his mom in some way. But it's really cool. What do you think about that, Ashley? What do you think about uh, your child? You're sleeping away and your child's still hearing your voice. It makes me feel good. He loves his mommy. <laughs> so he heard me for nine months. So it's very cool. I like it. What are, I don't even know what we're doing for the rest of the day. What else we got going on today? Just organizing because we got so much stuff from the hospital. They gave us a lot of free diapers, um, formula if we ever need it just in case. Um, just getting everything ready because what, what we did, we just came in, threw our stuff in. Um, I had to go get medication, <laughs> we fed Brick, and then I passed out because I only was on four hours of sleep since the birth, um, taking care of Brick and just being with them. But he's being such a good baby, he sleeps a lot more, I think because he's taking the milk more, which is awesome. We figured out ways to get it in him. Very exciting. And then I still have to do Spanish with him today. And I have to exercise at some point. We did take Brick for a walk, uh, which I think Ashley mentioned. But um, if anybody has seen a current picture of me, it's going to take more than a walk to fix this moneymaker. So <laughs> I'm going to have to fit in some kind of exercise here. And that's really going to be one of the tricks. Because obviously Brick comes first. And uh, yeah, he's staring at me right now. I'm above him. But Brick comes first, but you know, I know Brick doesn't want a dad with a big old roly-poly belly. So I got to find a way to squeeze in sit-ups, but we'll make it happen. Um, and then uh, my mom has been so sweet. She, uh, she's picking us gro up groceries right now because we had to, we had a few other things we had to do. Um, but yeah, it's been a busy day. And uh, what, what's, the, what are, what's on our agenda? Oh, that's the big thing is today we need to solidify our uh, schedules because one thing I'm learning is that if we do not have a schedule, um, we are not going to be as successful as we traditionally are. Our efficacy will fall tremendously. So got to be We're going to try to solidify that tonight. Um, outside of that, what else do we have going on? Um, uh, for the rest of the week, Ash. Oh, we have to go to the pediatrician, so we gotta look for that. Um, I have to finish up some paperwork with my work, and uh, yeah. Oh, and also, Alice is doing really good, our dog. She's so, um, she, I see her lay around a Brick's uh, stroller or um, bassinet, which is super cute. So, how cool is that? Brick came home and has a dog, so that's pretty awesome. <laughs> And Alice is being very good. Yeah, she's looking at me right now. She's being very good. Uh, she was hanging out with a four-month-old, so she kind of had a little uh, practice before she had to deal with Brick. Um, and then your family had a chance to visit the hospital, didn't they? Yeah. Um... So, yeah, so I, uh, I basically, it was, I was, it was like five days. I still ha don't have that much sleep, so if, if, I sound, if I'm not that articulate right now, 
um, it's lack of sleep, sleep deprivation, deprivation, I can't even say it. Um, anyway, uh, they came by, I wish I could have been there, but it got to the point where one of us really needed to get some sleep. So my mom stayed at the hospital and I went uh, back home to try to get some sleep. And while I was gone, your family stopped by. So how, how did that all go? It went really well. My mom, of course, came back and my, she brought my dad. And he was so excited to see Brick. He had a big smile on his face and held them. And then my sister and her three kids, Chase, Chance, and Grace, they came by as well. And my sister held them a long time. And then Chancey held them for a second. And then Grace and Chase just looked at him because <laughs> he's so little. And then um, my brother was supposed to come by, but he has something to do with his job. So they're going to come on Monday. My grandparents from Utah have called, and then my grandparents that live out here in Las Vegas, they called too. So he'll definitely be seeing his great-grandparents soon. So he got a lot of grandparents and great-grandparents, aunt and uncles that love him a lot. The thing that's amazed me the most about him, and I'm sure every baby does this, but it's just my first time through on this, but literally the child is eating five times the amount of food that he ate yesterday. And if this trajectory continues, um, we're definitely going to have to outsource the formula. But I'm sure he'll peek out at some point. Is there anything that you would like to say, Brick? <laughs> On a scale of 1 to 10, Brick, how handsome is your father? Okay, uh, that didn't work out well. All right, anyway. Uh, is there anything else that you want to say, Ashley, before we wrap this up? This second day birthday, second day birthday. Uh, nope, I think that covers it, but we'll have a lot to say tomorrow too. So. Okay, guys, thanks for putting up with us. Um, we're just trying to have fun, you know, through this process, and also, you know, f um, film some memories along the way. But we appreciate you guys tuning in. And uh, hopefully, if you guys you know, are interested in this uh, journey, you'll continue on with us. And we will see you tomorrow for Brick's third day birthday.